What's up everyone, and in today's video, we have two very popular budget laptops with a similar price tag and performance internals. They are the new Asus VivoBook 16 and the HP Laptop 15, which I'm sure you may have come across them if you are looking for a budget computer for everyday productivity. These systems are powered by the same AMD Ryzen 5 7530U processor and have almost the same configuration, which is why it is really going to be interesting to find out which one is the better buy. First of all, these two laptops feature two different screen sizes, as their names already suggest. The VivoBook 16 features a 16-inch display and the HP Laptop 15 comes with a 15-inch display. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, because not only the VivoBook 16 has a larger display than its competition, it also uses a 16 by 10 aspect ratio display that makes it better when it comes to web browsing and reading documents. Not to mention, it has slimmer display bezels than the HP Laptop 15, which gives it almost the same footprint as the latter. And even better, the display hinges can be extended to a flat 180 degree, which the HP can't. But of course, if you are looking to watch our YouTube videos or something on Netflix, the HP Laptop 15 will still be the better choice with its 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Both laptops are very straightforward in terms of design, but I personally prefer the VivoBook 16 as it looks less like an office laptop with a nice ASUS VivoBook branding cutout on the front. The laptop's chassis also has ASUS's Antimicrobial Guard Plus, which is a coating that kills bacteria and viruses that last up to 3 years. Which makes me feel a little less guilty if I have no time to clean up the laptop and it isn't available on the HP Laptop 15. The I.O. situation is slightly better on the ASUS VivoBook 16 as you get an extra square USB port on the left side. Though I don't like that majority of the ports are cramped on the right side as it affects my mouse movement. The one thing I'm willing to forgive is the support for USB PD charging, which the HP Laptop 15 lacks and you're just limited to the barrel port for charging the laptop. Having used these two laptops for the past week and switching between them, I find them to be equally enjoyable when it comes to performance as they are fitted with the same processor. Though the HP Laptop 15 will provide slightly better performance out of the box as it already comes with 16 gigs of dual channel memory pre-installed. The ASUS VivoBook 16 can thankfully be upgraded with an extra sodium stick to the same memory configuration. Both laptops perform silent and cool even when I push them in multi-tap web browsing and gaming. Even though there's virtually no difference in real-world performance, what matters to me as a good user experience is a good keyboard and trackpad. And this is where the ASUS VivoBook 16 does a better job than the HP Laptop 15, as it has larger keycaps that simply makes it more comfortable to type on. The trackpad is also noticeably wider than the latter and comes with a fingerprint reader at the top right corner for conveniently signing into Windows. Of course, I am not suggesting that the HP's keyboard is all bad as I still find it to offer a really good typing experience, but just not as good as the ASUS VivoBook 16 if you were to compare it side by side. And I do have to commend its better numpad area as compared to the VivoBook 16's. In terms of battery life, the VivoBook 16 and HP Laptop 15 have pretty much the same real-world endurance as I've managed to get around 5 hours and 50 minutes on the ASUS and 5 hours and 35 minutes on the HP. These laptops will essentially offer up to a full workday usage considering most people wouldn't be using it continuously this way. Overall, I think both laptops are really good performers regardless which one you pick up. But if I were to pick between them, I would have to say that the ASUS VivoBook 16 will better suit my style of work as I appreciate the convenience of a 16x10 display, USB PD charging, and a more comfortable working area. The only thing that you need to do is to add on an extra 8GB of RAM and you're pretty much set with it. And ASUS, if I may suggest, stop doing the 8GB onboard RAM thing to your laptops and just give us dual channel memory out of the box next time, okay? Alright, so that's pretty much on a really quick comparison between these two laptops here. I hope you get whatever you need to know about the VivoBook 16 and the HP Laptop 15 because these are really great budget laptops that I highly recommend that you guys go check it out. As for now, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel. Stay subscribed and be sure to give us a thumbs up if you love what you saw. And I'll see you guys in the next one.